Hello everybody, my name is Queen Zenobia and today here I am going to talk about something that I think we all have done before and what we've learned from certain game characters and today I will be talking about what I've learned from Resident Evil characters. Okay, so number one, Sherry Birkin. Um, what I learned from her is that Sometimes, being born by an evil scientist slash doctor is good. You have powers, and you can't always blame somebody else for your problems. Um, number two, Jake Mueller. Um, how do I say this? Sometimes taking a risk, going on a journey, rewards you with what you were not expecting to find, which could be a, a lover, like how he found Sherry and falls in love with her. <laughs> um, number three, Helena Harper. There is nothing that can break the bond of sisters. Nothing. At all. At all. I mean, you have a promise, you have to keep it. Number four. Avalon. Sometimes it's good playing both sides of the field. And working for yourself. It's much more rewarding. Oh, who am I kidding? I learned a lot from Avalon. She's my favorite. <laughs> um, number six. Leon S. Kennedy. Sometimes can't assume and sometimes you have to be all about business and sometimes you're just gonna get someone that you love and they're just gonna help you along the way but sometimes you know you they work by themselves and leave you in the dust and not really leave you in the dust. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I still feel like Leon should have never went out to the president's daughter. She was such a which leads me to number eight, Ashley. Being a wimp is not going to help you in the zombie apocalypse at all. Yeah. And I know that drop from that little edge is not going to kill you, so just drop down. Don't have, don't jump into Leon's arms. He should not even be helping you with this. Are you just that useless and pathetic? Number eight. Here's Nibbins. Sometimes you have to sacrifice everything for your captain. And for the rest of the world. But mostly the captain. Oh, him and her are a cute couple. Number nine. Chris Redfield. Um. Is not good. Be an alcoholic. Don't be an alcoholic, kid. And don't run away from your task at hand. And appreciate those who have sacrificed their lives for you. Um, number ten. Agent. Sometimes it is awesome to be silent and deadly. And that is basically all Agent has taught me for my thing the six. Number eleven. Shella Alamar. Do not abandon your brothers in arms. Or in this case anyone who is your brother or sister. <laughs> I mean unless you leave them. Then you could just leave that person behind. Which I would not recommend. But just in case, there's just there is a shovel in the shed. No one's gotta know. It'd be like it never existed in the first place. <laughs> Trust me, I would know. <laughs> just kidding. Don't give me that look, Miss Retribution. 
<laughs> um, let's go berry. Sometimes you just get to stop whatever you're doing and eat. And also make remarks to that. And also make jokes. But you have to know when to make jokes, not like when someone's about to die. <laughs> Actually, that might be the perfect time to make a joke. <laughs> I can feel everyone silently judging me. <laughs> I forgot what number I'm on, so number question mark. Question mark. Um, trying to think of all the ones I've already went through. Uh, Um, Albert Wesker, there you go, um, it actually pays off to be hot and evil, cause since Albert Wesker is hot, like, how can I kill you? You are, like, the sexiest man I've ever seen, come on, like, how can I kill you? You're making this hard on me. Again, everyone's silently judging. <laughs> if you're so hot, then why is you still in Resident Evil 5? Because I had to to beat the game. But you could have just died and never beat the game. You're I did hot. die. A lot. <laughs> but you beat um, the game so many times. I'm so conflicted because I like I love you, but I have to kill you. Maybe after I kill you and save the world, I'll kill myself and we can be together. Forever. More silent judging. Um. I'm forgetting all the ones I've already done. Um. <gasps> Jill Valentine. Um, I have no idea, um, everyone should be like Jill Valentine, strong and, and beautiful and, and determined and totally oblivious to the fact that Chris likes you. And he's totally oblivious to the fact that you like him. Jeez. Just you know, like a magic push, just pushing together. Like whoops, she tripped and fell on top of him, and her lips met. I don't know how that happened at all. That was not my foot, I swear. Not at all. Um. Uh, what was that chick's name? What the the the, the that was Chris's partner in. Revelations? Jessica. Jessica. No matter how beautiful someone is, they could always be working for the enemy. And that should say something. I mean, sure, you're really cute. I mean, yeah. You look like an innocent kitten. But really, you're just gonna point a gun at me and kill me later. <laughs> Why did he have to get shot? Why did he? Why did Parker? Wait, Parker got shot, right? Parker fell. Parker fell. Yeah, Why did you fell. have to fall? He's alive. What about Raymond? Raymond, He's alive. Raymond, Raymond was Parker. the one that got shot. Okay. Raymond, why did you have to get shot? He didn't have a bulletproof vest. It was all part of Jessica's plan. I know. <laughs> But he still got shot. <laughs> he lived. Either way, they all live happily ever after. Not I think really. no, no. I think Parker had brain issues after that. I'm like, oh. Anybody else? Totally unaware of the fact that Resident Evil has been going on for so long, and it seems like the world is totally fine. But then, some other city's getting attacked by zombies. But everybody's just like, oh, let's do this together. Although I did ship Jill and Parker together. 
Oh yeah, that's true. Wait, then who would go with Chris? Because Jill winked at Parker. Oh yeah. Because you might need to be nice. Like, okay. Like, oh, yeah. oh yeah, Jill and Parker for life. And yeah. then, uh, what was the chick that looked like at a? Carla. Carla and Chris for life. Except she had to die. Dang it! Except you couldn't make another clone. Wait, the dude who made the clone died, though. Oh. Dang. Well, this has been an interesting talk about what we've learned from game characters. Uh, next time I should do something like GTA. You can learn that uh, it's okay stealing cars. As long as no one finds out. Anyways, this has been... Queen Zenobia, and I'll see you next time.